Hello and welcome to Let's Play All Games and welcome to Motorsport Manager. We are in season 6, we have done 15 races, now we are heading into the last race of the season in Munich. We are third in the constructors and we will stay third because we are about 50, 51 points ahead of Kitano. So even if they get a 1-2 we are and we don't score points we are still comfortably in second third place and we can't catch up to the rossinis uh to the steinman so we have missed our target this is the first time we have done that and basically a chairman is very unhappy he's down to five percent happiness and he could get fired i think this is five percent because nicola is a nice guy so that keeps the five percent otherwise it would have been below that so we head into the last race knowing that it could be our last race with the team. So let's see what this interview is about. Front wing. Okay, shut up. And yeah, let's go to Munich. Don't see what else we can do here. Also, we don't really have much else to do with the car. Okay, we need sponsors. And these were the guys who were paying us good money. So we'll pick Ravelli again, 400,000 per race. We'll wait and see if there's another better offer. Okay, report on upcoming race. Okay, he's saying it's worse. If you have not met, you'll be fired. No pressure. And we can internal. Okay, Vintal guy, media training. One million on media training. Uh, sure, why not? I might not be here anyway. And uh, Ravelli, 400,000. Yeah, we'll go with Ravelli. It's a good, decent income per race. So, we're getting 100,000 from these guys. 300, so 400 and 400. So, 800,000 per race, which is pretty good. Contracts running down um let's let's wait oh everybody's running down all three drivers and lead designer so we'll keep the lead designer we want the lead designer so even if i'm not here we'll renew his contract interested let's talk he is he doesn't have a lot of patience apparently so wages aren't very important what is he getting 317 so we'll give him a little more uh maybe not that much eh. we like a long contract yes and bonus size isn't very important we'll give him something if giving everybody else he's the main guy we'll give him 45 for now let's not do it for race let's do it for race winning the race is important so we'll give him some money for winning the race hopefully that's enough to hold on and these two are fine for one more season. And yeah, got it. And we are on to Munich. What are we doing anything on the car? Yeah, we were working on improving the suspension and yeah, I guess that's fine. Suspension could get dodgy. It is heavy rain during qualifying and practice, so why not? Let's gamble. Who knows? Last race of the season. It's not going to change much, but very low tire wear and very high fuel burn. So we'll go with. We'll just go with an even split. Very high fuel burn. We can't push on the engine, we can push on the tires. I did not see how many laps it was. Yeah, we haven't done well in the past when Germany was on the calendar for like two seasons it was and then it wasn't for three seasons and now it's back again. So it used to be like the sixth race before Cape Town. Now it is the last race. Okay, so looks dry initially at least.
Um, it starts getting wet fairly quickly. So do we go with some dry tires or do we start work on the wets straight away? Because it will be about five minutes of dry time. So let's look at the tire situation. So 21 to 23 on these, it's 18 to 16. So I reckon we can do two stints on the mediums during the race if it's not wet. I think it's 32 laps. If it isn't, we'll go on the hard. Okay, let's do hard. Hard and soft. Nah. Probably. Okay, let's let's do hard. I just I should have looked at the number of laps. I forgot to check how many laps the race has. Now, for this sort of thing, do we need sharp oversteer? Yeah, I'm never sure. Shorter gearing? Eh, probably. Okay, let's find out. Okay, so very high downforce here. And, yep. Okay, let's take practice for the last race of the season. Uh, race trim, yes. We'll get five minutes out of these before it gets too wet. Race and out you go. Yeah, then it is inter and then probably might dry out again, who knows. Even a win here would only be just sort of a consolation. Arrow is fine, gearing looks fine. So it's just the handling once again we need to figure out. I think this is a 36 lap race. Okay, good. Okay, handling is too soft. So we need to go the other side. Okay, Surikov handling. I okay, will bring them in because it's starting to rain. Okay. We also need to do something about the handling. So excellent on uh, the other guy. So handling we have to go the other side and go about here. And downforce less, more, Let's go a bit more, see what happens. Tiny bit. Okay, so should we start work on the quali? Because Kali could be wet, so let's work on the inters during this middle part and then we'll come back and if we have time we'll work on the medium again, uh, the, the hard again. So he has excellent downforce. Okay, so I think we probably needed more. And his carrying is also pretty good, so we go the other side and we bring back the carrying a bit. Okay, let's see right at the edge if this improves the gearing. Okay, some laps on the wet and then we'll go back to the dry. See everybody's still on the dry tires, nobody's bothering with the inters. Because it could be wet in qualifying. So inters might be the better tire. We've not had a bad season overall, but the constant pressure of the high expectations means third seems like a bad result. We finished second last year. Okay, he wants a bit stiffer handling. We went too, too soft on the other side, I think.
Okay, do your two, three laps and then come in. Okay, somebody's gone on to the wet tires. Full wets. Yeah, I think this is just about wet territory. Hey, come on guys, can we get to level 2's here? Okay, can we get to level 3s? No, I don't think we can hit level 3s by the time they get back. Handling is still poor. Handling is poor on the other side now. Okay, so let's see. So the gearing is excellent. So this was poor, this is poor. So right in the middle is what we need. This was poor, this is poor. So this is more or less in the middle. Okay, we don't want to mess the other two. So water is receding. Do we go on the... Okay, just go out and come back on these tires. If we can hit level 3. His speed balance is worse now. Okay, so handling we can definitely say so this was okay, this was poor. Okay, so right in the middle is what we need once again. Yeah, and this should be better on the gearing too. Maybe not excellent. Yeah, just go out and come back straight away. So there's still a tiny bit of water. And they'll hit level 3's here. At least hit level 3 in the qualifying. Yes, they should hit level 3's. Yep, bingo. But we won't be able to get level 3's on the dry now. Okay, 2 grits and 3 excellence. Okay. So Surikov is more or less perfect. Okay, so which way do we go now? We do this. Yeah, this should probably be better. I hope. I go back to the hard tire and do as many laps as possible. Same for you. You have a perfect setup, so we don't need to touch anything. 99 already. Okay, so we are the only ones on the dry tire. Okay, there are a couple other people. Cannon, Persani, DeGraff. Okay, we should hit level 2s easily, but level 3s, I don't think we have the time. Okay, get past the guy, man. Come on, we need a quicker lap. Can they actually do another lap? Do they have the time? I don't think so. No, not enough time. So yeah, we missed out level 3's on the dry race setup. We got level 3's in the qualifying.
okay good qualifying i guess yeah this race is kind of pointless it seems unless we don't get fired that is then we'll have a new life for next season otherwise it's game over i'm wondering what to do should i hang on to my save and you know reapply at Velen racing or should we go somewhere else because the aim was to you know take them to the top and we are like a couple of steps away from the top uh it does get wet so i think inters would be the better tire we have done so much work on the intermediates because by the time we get out it will be inter and it'll start getting even worse so no 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 hang on hang on change on the interest please because if people go out on the dry it will be too wet by the time they start their laps or maybe we could get lucky either way it's pretty tight maybe we should split them no i don't think we have time to think now mm, see by the time they start the lab one and a half minutes three minutes it'll be already wet okay let's risk it put one of them on the soft And you stay on the inters. We'll see who does the better job here. Yes, Surikov is the first guy out. So if he can't do a good time on SE is too late. Yeah, I think we made a mistake with Surikov. It's already too wet. He hasn't even started yet. And anybody coming out now, even on the... I think we should have gone on to the vets, actually. Okay, this is pretty bad. It does ease off, so it's not the end of the world. Surikov, is there even a point doing the lap? Actually, come back. Lundquist should be the fastest. Yes, Surikov will send him as soon as there's grip here. The only reason I brought him in was maybe we might only be able to do one lap. So in that case Lundquist at least has a lap. Okay, we should get ready to send Surikov. It's a 140 lap. Is she back yet? Yeah, I don't think we have time to wait. So, Surikov, go on the different slicks. Okay, she can actually do another lap. So, this is all right. Okay, the graph has gone faster. Okay, so people who were sort of a bit laid out, they caught the timing right with the yeah, I think it's too late now for anybody to come out. Yeah, people are still coming out. Like the morons they are. They're just going to get in the way now of everyone else. Is there anybody doing a lap? Hello, okay, Quest, come on, start the lap. Yes, that's it. Us two. Yes, that's this just uh, two cars here. Turikov is going faster. Don't Quest is going faster. Yeah, Lundquist is going faster. Yep, Surikov has gone pole. Yeah, I don't really know how bad the AI is with the wet qualifying. See, one and two again. And we pretty much got the first attempt wrong with both cars. We should have gone on to the vets. That would have been the best. But anyway, so final race, we at least get a pole. And we risked it with the money as well. So we'll get some money as well. We went with faster above. <laughs> I thought I saw you say lame practice session. Now she's all. Okay, so great quality session. Waste try.
And sadly, that means... <laughs> no rain. Race trim, hard tire. Race trim, hard tire. So 32 laps we need. Okay. We can't do two stints on these. Can we do say 10 laps here and then 20 on these? Still not enough. 15 on this. So she'll have to do medium and hard. And Surikov could possibly do soft and hard. So if he does 10 and he does 20, still not. I think we'll have to go on the mediums. And yep, yeah, attack a bit at the start. Get some heat in. And enjoy the race. Just don't lose too many places. Okay, DeGraff will just breeze past probably. Yeah. He pretty much left Surikov for dead. And he's gone past Lundquist. Okay, push on the tires, get heat into them. Ease up on the fuel. Ease up on the fuel. They're pushing on the tires to get some heat in. Just don't crash whatever you do. Especially don't crash into each other. Okay, get some heat, get some heat. Okay, temps are good. Ease up. Maybe push on the fuel. Push on the fuel. Stop attacking each other. They are doing a decent job so far. De Graaf has rushed away, but people behind, they are not exactly closing us down, even though we are on the slower tire. Like Hamilton, Persani, Costa. Fisher is the next car. And okay, they are closing up now, but like I was expecting them to have already passed us, so 2 and 3 isn't too bad, I guess. Okay, fuel is down, so. Ease up on the fuel, push on the tire, push on the tire. It's just getting too cold here. Any rain? No, I don't see rain. So we need at least 10. No, not 10. We need a few more laps here. Hamilton is all over Surikov. Okay, Surikov, push a bit. We don't want you losing track position. So how many laps do we need out of these tires? We are doing a one stop. We need probably 12 to 13 out of these. So maybe we should stop pushing. Yeah. Otherwise we'll be unable to do two stints. So 32 laps. So that tire will give us 19 to 20. The hard one. So we need at least 12 to 13 out of these. Especially for Lundqvist because she isn't as smooth as Surikov. Okay, Surikov is now getting hounded by people on faster tires. And the graph has just gone 20 seconds clear, 18 20 seconds. Obviously, he's on the faster tire, but his car is just so much faster as well. Where are the Steinmans here? 7 is sharp and 11 is Hashimoto. Why couldn't they be this bad at the start of the season when we needed them to be bad? They were incredible at the start. I remember that race which we won in Yokohama. They were just blowing past everyone. So 8 laps we've managed. I think we can get another 4 out of these. We should be able to get four out of these. Surikov might be able to get maybe slightly more. Just because he's a bit smoother. So we have a bit of fuel. So push. Just to stay ahead of the others. He's done a decent job so far. Like holding off people on the faster tire. But clearly those cars are not as fast. I mean they are decent but 
not fast enough to just breeze past us unlike the Steinmans and the Rossinis who don't have a problem like they could be on any tire they just get past okay 10 laps done so far so good yeah we, if you push on the tires we will struggle to get to the end I keep saying the same thing both of you see Costa and those people will pit we are still in decent shape overall let's see where we filter out this is a weird race so far suddenly this track seems to suit us good qualifying and we are still hanging on even with the harder tire not the hardest but the medium now he has gone on the medium can he go to the end on the medium i don't think he can so he might be pitting again See, he's already pitted and he's still ahead of us. That's how good the pace was on that car. Okay, we are still pushing. So lap 12. Should we pit her this lap? 13. Yeah, I think this is a good time to pit CD Lundquist. So, another 20 to go after this. A 19. Including this. Okay, so this should be fine. And Surikov, yeah, he should be fine as well. We need good pit stops here. Yeah, I'll try that thing of not pushing when we enter the pit lane because I have a feeling that could be could be the reason for like a lot of mistakes. So far so good. Okay, keep pushing on the fuel. Okay, Surikov, you can go to the hard tire as well. Are you pushing on the fuel? You can push on the tire as well if you like. Okay, she's down to 6 which is still pretty good because everybody in front of her will pit again. Apart, maybe even the first place guy. So that is not bad overall. Okay, Surikov in the pits. Ease up. No sorry wrong guy. I eased up. Don't twist. Okay ease up on the... Okay, he's, okay so this has worked out perfectly. We are exactly where we want it. So we are 4 and 5. Hashimoto, Bergman and uh, yeah, those two will pit. So hopefully they'll come out behind us. We just need to make sure they don't jump us in the pits. So Surikov, maybe push a bit, get the temps up. But I think the second stint wouldn't be too hard on the tires with less fuel on board. We'll just push a bit fuel is getting thin but we'll try and catch up see sharp is on the faster tire now having pitted so she is closing up but i think she'll have to pit again so if we can hold her back for a bit that's fine if not it's also not a problem see bergman has to pit now he's 12 seconds ahead he is in the pits Okay, Bergman is coming out in ninth. Okay, these two are doing fine, faster, good lap times, temps are good. Surikov, they are good. Okay, so we'll ease up just to keep the temperatures right. So we'll push a bit on Lundquist. Maybe we should push on Surikov while he's holding off. No, okay, he's lost the lead. He's still holding. Still trying. Okay, now finally she has gone past. Okay, Lundquist ease up on the fuel. Keep pushing on the tire. So 3 and 5 is not bad considering. Yeah, suddenly this year we have had a weird season. Like the tracks where we struggle usually, we are doing fine there this time. And the ones where we are normally good at, we have had a bit of a problem. Okay, so I think ease up on the tire. Because we need these tires to last another 12 laps. We may even have to ease up a bit more. She is good at defending. She tends to hold the lead a bit better. 
Okay, finally. I think now Lundquist would be struggling. Sorry, Kof, push on the tire, man. They're not... They just cool down very quickly. Okay, never mind, never mind. She was on the faster tire in a faster car, so... Not a problem. But the graph is so much further ahead of everybody. Okay, maybe ease up a bit on the tires just to make sure we get to the end. Because I think if we do this properly, we should hold on to... Mm, no, Hashimoto has gone past. So, yeah. So the Rossinis have managed to split us. Yeah, we should finish 4 and 5. Fisher, okay, Fisher could get close as well. No, Fisher has to pit again. And Bergman is... Yeah, Bergman could get close, but he's on the same tire. Uh, so I think, yeah, those two Rossinis should get past. And one of the Steinmans. So 3 and 5, I think, is... Or maybe 4 and 5. 3 looks unlikely. I mean, Sharp has to pit again, I think. So... 3 and 5 is possible. Or even 2. No, no, 2 is unlikely because Hashimoto will get past. Okay, push on the fuel if you like. You have some fuel. We are easing up on the tires just to make sure we get to the end. And okay, she's still holding off Hashimoto. See, that's why I said she's good at sort of protecting the lead. Pace is good. Pace is good. Okay, I think now Hashimoto is in position. Yep. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Okay, is it wet again? Oh, shit. Do we pit now? Okay, we have to pit one of them. Okay, Surikov. If I knew, I would have pushed on the tires a bit more. Okay, so Lundquist just attack. Sharp pitted. I did not see that. I think I made a mistake not looking. Sharp is in great position. Okay, she still managed to come out in front of Surikov, so not too bad, not too bad. We can push on the tires, because we don't need to worry about these tires. So I think, yeah, DeGraff is comfortable, he'll go, but the others, if they don't pit, will be in trouble. So Fisher is behind. The Fisher has really done well here. Yeah, we forgot to look at the weather, I just assumed it wouldn't rain. So both the Steinmans are getting past again. Yeah, sadly, if I had paid attention to the weather, we would have charged more on the tires and not tried to save them. Okay, she's just gone past somebody on the dry tires. Okay. Yeah, we can't hold off the Steinmans now. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, four and five, yeah. Two Steinmans and Sharp. Yeah, that is it. Ease up on the fuel so we get to the end. Also, this was so close to the end that I don't think we would have done much better. Yeah, if we had paid attention to the tires, we may have used a different tire and not used the harder tire. If we knew that it was going to rain towards the end. Because it rained like six laps towards the end. Six, seven laps. We got the pit stops at the right time as well, so I think it all worked out overall. It was just the pace isn't there. Somebody's actually gone on the wet tires. Schmidt. No, no, shut up. No, not really. Everybody's on the interest, so pitting now would just be giving away the positions. Alright, two laps to go. Just relax. Suspension, brakes, everything going. Ok, 
Okay, two laps remaining. Yeah, Hashimoto is quite close now. Can he hold off Hashimoto? Okay, maybe Surikov push a bit just to make sure Hashimoto doesn't get past. Okay, final lap. Okay, De Graaf has already won the race. And second and third are across the line. And four and five and six. And yeah, good result for the end of the season, I suppose. Win was out of the question once we forgot to check the weather yeah i forgot to check that i was just too preoccupied yeah the steinmans have once again blown the opposition so one and three steinmans actually improved more than the rossinis towards the end of the season so final race done we are not looking good four and five we finished third comfortably in the constructors easy third and a distant third as well okay end of the season so let's see if we get fired now or maybe it's, it's the in between season when we get fired probably okay let's see boss happiness come on it's taking too long to load okay, she's 90 he's 100 bosses okay his happiness has increased somehow how is that i don't understand okay maybe it's the money that's pleased him okay so zoe sharp is the champion and rossini also the constructors and that is the end of season six of my career with well and racing this could be the end of the line for us so anyway that is the end of the season we have not done very well I mean, we have done third, we are third, comfortably third, which is a great performance. But overall, we were expected to finish second. So I'll end it here and I'll come back and do the in between stuff. And if we hang on to a job, we'll do the in between stuff. Otherwise, we'll say goodbye to our team and think about what to do next. Okay, so I'll see you for the next video. Stay tuned. <laughs>